Hey everyone, in this video we are going to talk about external javascript and how it can be used to make your website more efficient and easier to manage. Okay, so there are three ways to add javascript code into html. The first one is inline javascript, second one is embedding javascript and the third one is external javascript. In the previous two lectures we already discussed about inline javascript and embedding javascript. And in this lecture, we are going to discuss about external JavaScript and then we discuss the example of external JavaScript. Okay, so before starting the example, first let's see what is meant by external JavaScript. Okay, JavaScript is a programming language which is used to add interactive features to the web pages. So when JavaScript code is included directly in a HTML file, it can quickly become unwieldy, making it more difficult to manage and update. So that's why the external javascript comes in. External javascript allows you to write your javascript code in a separate file with a .js extension and then link to that file from your html document. Okay, so we can create a separate file here to hold the code of javascript and that file has an extension that is a .js. And later we can include it in our HTML document using the SRC attribute of the script tag. So it becomes very useful if we want to use the same code in multiple HTML documents. Suppose I am going to create a website which has 50 number of web pages. And if that website, if that 50 number of web pages has the same code, then I can write the same code inside the external JavaScript file that is a .js file and then link that JS file to other HTML documents. Okay, so JavaScript code also save us from the task of writing the same code over and over again and make it easier to maintain the web page. Okay, so this is a basic of external JavaScript. Remember once again, include the javascript code into html using external javascript then we have to create the two files the one is a, our main file that is a dot html file and the second one to write the code of javascript that second file is saved with the extension dot js so when we require to write down the same code over and over again then that time we use the external javascript Okay, so here we have to create two files. One is a HTML file and the second one is .js file that is a JavaScript file. Both the files must have to save in the same location in the same folder. But you can also save both the files in a separate folder. But when we store both the files in a separate folder, we have to mention the full path of JavaScript file in a HTML file. We have to mention the full address or path of the javascript file into our html file but if both the files are saved in the same folder in the same location then we do not need to write the full path or the full address of javascript file into html we just have to mention the name of javascript file okay so important point regarding the external javascript files are okay so javascript files are the common text files with the .js extension the external javascript file only contains javascript code and nothing else. The file which we save with the extension .js has only the javascript code. We do not write anything else except the javascript code inside that file. And also we do not need any script tag, the opening script tag and closing script tag in that javascript file. Okay, so this is a basic concept of external javascript. Now let's move on to the program. Okay, so here I open the notepad plus plus to write down the HTML code. You can use any of the text editor. So here we have to create two files. One is a HTML file and the second one is a JavaScript file. So first I am going to write the basic structure of HTML file. So first write down the HTML tag. Then the next one is a head tag. Inside head tag there is a title tag. Write down the title as for example external javascript then close the title then close the head tag after closing head tag open the body tag then closing body tag and then closing html tag okay so this is a basic structure of every html document now save the file first we can save this file with dot html extension because it has html code this is our main file so write down 
the file name as external with extension HTML. Okay, uh, so here I am going to include a button, and when we click on that button, the alert dialog box will show. It shows some of the message. So first, I am going to add a button here. To add a button, we are going to include another tag that is a form tag. Then close the form tag. and inside this form tag i am going to write the code of button so to add the code of button here we use the input tag so input type equal to button because i am going to insert the button suppose if you want to insert the text box then the input type must be text if you want to upload the file then input type must be file if you want to include the radio button then the type must be radio if you want to include the checkbox then the type must be checkbox so here i am going to include the button in a web page so the input type is a button now i am going to name the button as result so here write down the property as value value equal to result if i do not mention the value property then the button name is button by default the name of button is button but i am going to name the button as result so here i include the property that is a value now when i click on the button then the click event is generated and to handle that event the on click event handler is called so here on click equal to for example i am going to write down the function as show then end of input tag so when user clicks on the button the click event is generated and to handle this event the on click event handler is generated which calls the function show okay so to write the code of show function we have to create a javascript file and then we write down the code of javascript but before that let's save the program and run it okay so this is a button and we name the button as result so nothing happens here when we click on this button because we do not write down the code of javascript yet so let's write down the code of javascript to write down the javascript code again i am going to open the notepad plus plus then create new file then i am going to save the file with extension js so i am going to name the file as hello and extension as dot js then save the file and now i am going to write down the code of javascript so first here one thing you have to remember that javascript file that is a dot js file has only javascript code and nothing else and there is no need to write down the script tag in this file because it is a separate javascript file so i am going to directly start from the function so to include the function in a javascript code use the function keyword followed by function name as you know in a html file we call the function show so here i am going to write the function as show and inside this show function i am going to just write down the alert dialog box i am going to call the alert dialog box and inside alert dialog box i am going to show the statement that is a hello world okay so this is a simple program of dot js file javascript file this is a javascript code okay now again save the file and then run the program i am going to refresh the page okay click on the result as you can see nothing happens here because we do not link the javascript file to the html page yet so to link the javascript file to html page we have to use the script tag okay so the script tag you can also use inside the head section or inside the body section so i am going to write down the script tag inside the body tag okay so here write down the script tag okay now to include the javascript file into html we have to write down one attribute of script tag and that is a src that is a source so here src equal to in double quotation name of your javascript file and that is hello dot js then close the script tag 
now again save the program and i am going to refresh the web page okay so here when i click on the result button the click event is generated to handle that click event the on click event handler is used which calls the function that is a show and show function has a alert dialog box which has a message that is a hello world so alert dialog box has only one parameter that is a message and it has also only one button and that is a okay button so this is a simple example of external javascript okay so that's it for today's video we have talked about what external javascript is why you should use it and how to use it using external javascript can help make your website more efficient and easier to maintain okay so if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them below thanks for watching